Number 36, letter A. Sketch the equipotential lines near a point charge positive Q. Indicate the direction of the increase of potential. All right, so let's say here is Q, it's positive, and the um, equipotential lines will be simply drawn as concentric circles uh, surrounding basically this particular object. Okay, we're gonna center these circles around it. So right about there. And the next one, whoops, the next one I'm gonna draw a little further away. And the one after that I'm gonna show even further away. And what I'm trying to show here basically is, let's say that, you know, each of these circles represents a, you know, having or something of the potential. What's essentially happening is that as you move further out, the distance to go from, let's say, a volt of one to then a volt of 0.5 is some distance. Then the uh, distance to go from 0.5 to 0 0.25 is now going to be greater than this particular x. Okay? So it'll be, you know, some factor of it. But don't worry about it. You probably don't really need to know it. You can figure it out if you needed to by using the formula. But it's going to be some greater value than x. So we can just say it's going to be greater than x. All right, and then so on and so forth. So now with, let's just get rid of all that. So now with a positive charge, the if we were to draw in the electric field lines, you know that they always radiate outward, right, from the center. So I'll draw my little lines. Okay, fantastic. And the lines always point towards, actually the electric field lines always point towards decreasing potential. So, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, we have to indicate the direction of increasing potential. If we know that the electric field lines here that I just drew uh, point towards decreasing potential, then the increasing potential would be pointing the other way. Okay, and it's that simple. Uh, part B, do the same for a point charge of negative 3. All right, so basically it's going to look essentially the same. So here, let's just say we had a negative 3. Coulomb charge. We got these circles, right? Same kind of deal. They're going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Great. Okay. We got then the electric field lines pointing now toward the negative charge. You know that, right? We would have three times the amount of electric field lines here. Um, but, you know, I'm just going <laughs> to... I don't really feel like drawing 12, I guess. Or, yeah. So, um, you know, just pretend that there are going to be, um, you know, not, uh, eight more or so. And um, what else? Oh, yeah. So remember the electric field lines point towards um, decreasing potential, right? So therefore, increasing potential would be pointing in the opposite direction. Okay. And that's it. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Be well.